In last week's activity, we looked at the processes that drive natural selection, the factors that explain why the Darwin finches have beaks that differ in their shape and their size. Well, this week, your task is to take that thinking one step further and think how and why animals change on islands. Islands are really, really interesting because they're isolated from larger ecosystems. So animals and plants often evolve in unusual and really interesting ways, often quite quickly. So they're a perfect way to look at the processes that Charles Darwin studied. You often see on islands examples of island gigantism. That's where animals and sometimes plants grow much, much, much bigger than their counterparts and relatives in other parts of the world. A really good example of this is the Komodo dragon. Komodo dragons live on the islands of Komodo in Indonesia, and they're the largest living terrestrial lizard alive today. They're armoured to the teeth. Their mouths are lined with sharp fangs, and they also secrete a venomous saliva. Their skin is armoured and like chainmail. They also have 20 sharp claws and a whip tail that they can use for their defence. These animals grow over three metres long and can weigh up to 70 kilos. Why do you think the Komodo dragons have evolved all of those adaptations and have grown so big on the Komodo islands? What advantages would that give them? Another process that you see on islands is the exact opposite of island gigantism. It's called island dwarfism, where animals and sometimes plants grow really, really small in size relative to their counterparts in the rest of the world. An example of this is Brachysia chameleons on the island of Madagascar. This group of chameleons are known for being tiny. The smallest can be just three centimetres in length. It's incredible looking at these little guys to think that they have a beating heart, blood vessels and bones in their tiny, tiny bodies. They often live at the base of trees. Why do you think the Komodo dragons have grown so big on Komodo? And why do you think the Brachysia chameleons have grown so small on the island of Madagascar? Fill in the PDF on the Darwin 200 website and send in your answers within two weeks to info at darwin200.com. Tune in in two weeks' time to find out the winning answers and see if you've won. Good luck and see you next time.